crazy to the most. Let's get these posters. Right, bro. Huh? It's all good. Let's slide this one down by myself. Come, all praises to the Most High. Let's start with uh, Proverbs chapter 18 and we'll go to verse 1. It's a lot. Book of Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 1. Bring it out. Through desire, a man having separated himself seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. That's the problem with our people, man. They seek to separate themselves from their true heritage, following Jehovah's Witness. Right, right, right. right? Brother, that's not for you. Right, right. Get right. out of that. Right, right. They get to members with all knowledge. Get out. Right, they want to be a, a Muslim, man. They separate themselves from the Most High, and they feel like they're doing something that's bringing them value. They feel like they're doing something that's putting their life worthwhile living, man. Right. None of that makes you live, man. Coming to the words of Yahweh, Shimei, causes you to live. Read that again. Right. Come, Proverbs 18, verse 1. Through desire, a man, having separated himself, right. seeketh and intermeddleth with all on, wisdom. Seeketh and meddleth with all wisdom, man. And our people are so destroyed because they eat up of the flesh of Babylon, man. Right. They burn it up and desire to have more. They cut it up with their steak knife, put a fork in it. Feeling like they're growing, man. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And what's that lack of knowledge? Knowing who they are. Knowing that they're God's chosen people. Knowing that the Lord is only for the children of Israel and none else. That's right, right, right. This Bible was not written to the whole world. That's right. It was right. written to God's chosen people. That's right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. But right. God's chosen people don't care to find out that the Bible is for them. Right. They don't care to find out that the Lord only loves them. Right. 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 Bring that out, King. This is the book of Hosea. Chapter 4 and verse 6. Bring it out. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. No, everyone. My right. people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So the Lord's people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Right? What's going on, family? Y'all got two minutes to find out why our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge? Over the most high? Our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, man. Our people rather deal with the ways of Babylon the Great than to come back and learn the Lord. Right. They rather deal with their own lust of life, right? That YOLO spirit. Right. Wait, right. they got a lust for life, man. This life is not living. This is what hell is. Right. This is breaking you down little by little by little by little. That's, right. That's why our women enjoy dressing in modesty. That's right. why our women enjoy putting white women's hair in their head, right. man. Right. They're destroyed for lack of knowledge. That's right. Right? Not knowing that they're the vision of beauty, right. man. That's right. 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 Right? Give me Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. So the Lord been cursing our women too, man. Because we're destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Right. Right? Keep going, King. Because thou hast rejected Wait. knowledge, uh -huh. I will also reject thee. And this is what rejection is, man. Being in the world, you know, you might try to talk to a girl. Hey, what's going on? Can I get your number? What's your zodiac sign? Hey, um, you must be a ticket. You got fine written all over you. Whatever lame line that you have for a woman, and she hit you with that, ugh, get out of my face. Ugh, you, your breath stink. What they say on the Chappelle show, nigga, you smell like french fries. Right, say something crazy to you. This is true rejection. Right. Not an Eve not talking to you. Right. The Lord rejecting you. Right. You dying in the streets by the hands of your enemies, by the hands of your people. You catching all different diseases. You calling yourself not by your God-given nationality. Right? This is what true rejection is, right? That, that thou shalt be no priest to me. And we don't have any working priests, man. We don't have people to stand up and make atonement for our people. For our people who smoke weed every day, who get drunk every day, right. who lay down with different women every day, right. who lay down with the same sex every day. Right. Right? We don't have those people to stand up and make atonement for us, right. to show us the ways of the Lord. But the Lord is raising up an army He's raising up an army who's gonna march to his beat. Right. Not to the beat of this wicked song, man. Right. Right, right keep going, King. See, thou hast forgotten the law of thy God. I will also forget thy children. So the Lord is gonna forget our children, man. Unless we come back and serve him wholeheartedly, man. Right? What did I tell you all? I got Isaiah 3 and 12, and Hosea 3, 3, 14 and 13. Give me um, give me Proverbs 13 and 21. Right? 
Because all we're doing is getting of that reward that we justly deserve, man. We're, de we're justly deserved to be living in this estate, to have these other nations ruling on us, man. Right. This is true judgment of the Lord. But one day, what's going on, family? Come up here. Come check out the posters. We got them out here just for y'all. Right. right, just for y'all, just, just for y'all. It's, it's, it's nothing but love up here. We don't want nothing but two minutes of your time. You too, brother. Come up and look at the posters, brother. All right, sister. We out here to tell the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native... If you don't want to be on camera, it's all good. We out here to tell the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who they truly are in these last days. If I was to ask you your nationality, what would you tell me? Say that again? An Israelite, okay, okay. Uh, uh. So you know something about this. Okay, all praise. Okay, all praise, all praise. Uh. What tribe are you from? What tribe are you from? Judah, okay. Uh. All, praise. all praise. Now, what's today, sister? What would we call today? The Sabbath day. Now, there's certain things we can and can't do on the Sabbath day. Right, you said your father's an Israelite. So what are some things your father doesn't partake in on the Sabbath day? He doesn't work. He doesn't work. What else? I know sometimes it's Sometimes, yeah. But specifically on the Sabbath. Right now, all I can remember is that you're not supposed to work. You're not supposed to rest. You're supposed to rest. You're supposed to rest. That's, That's right. exactly That's what it right. is. Sabbath means to rest. Now we're going to read a few things, because sister, you know you're an Israelite, right? You know what God requires of his chosen people. Now let's see some things you shouldn't be doing on the Sabbath. Bring that out. Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31. Bring it out. And if the people of the land bring ware or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So if somebody's coming to you like, hey sister, I got these purses right here. Or I got this uh, hamburger that I just cooked today that we would not buy of them on the Sabbath. No, we're going to buy on the Sabbath. No, we, we would not buy on the, on the Sabbath. So no buying and selling on the Sabbath. Have you bought anything today? Okay. Well, sister, with you knowing that you're an Israelite, God's chosen people, and we're not supposed to buy on the Sabbath, what are we supposed to do? Should we continue doing it? I can't hear you. Now, repent. That's right. That's right. Repentance. Now, how do you repent? Ask God for forgiveness and what? And follow the commandments. So from this day forward, sister, you can't buy or sell on the Sabbath, right? And you know about not working. Let's see something else we can't do. 13. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58 and verse 13. Bring it out. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure. So you have to not do your own pleasures, right? What you enjoy to do, sister? You like to... What's, what's something that you enjoy doing? If you're like, I'm going to have a good time, what do I want to do? Read a book, right? So if you're going to do your own pleasures by reading a book, what book should you be reading? The Bible, right? you got to be in the word of the Lord on the Sabbath day, congregating with each other, right? What congregation is your uh, father with? He's not with one? Oh, you don't know? Okay. Well, tell your father, come out here next time. Oh, they don't live in America. Okay, where you from? The Caribbean. Okay, all praises. All praises. Well, we got congregations in the Caribbean. Right. We're right. supposed to be gathering together. Right? You too, brother. You an Israelite too. Right. Right? right? That's right. You God's chosen people. Right. That's your boyfriend? Who's that? Your friend. Now, friend, what tribe do you come from, brother? I can't hear you. You don't want to find out who you truly are? You good with just being a black man in America? What is being a black man got on people? Mm. Nothing, right? That's thou says, right? Now, what's some other commandments that we got to keep, sister? Let's go to Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Because this is a big book right here, right? Give me Psalms 119 and 160, right? Psalms 119 and 160. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 160. You know. And it reads, Thy word is true from the beginning 
and every one of thy righteous judgments endure forever. So all the righteous judgments endure forever and the words of the Lord are true forever. So we're going to give you these commandments, sister, so you don't fall victim to being like these other women in the world. You have to go? All right, we'll take this last commandment. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Right. No the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So the Israelite woman cannot wear what pertaineth unto a man. So what's something that our pants, right? Shorts, basketball shorts, things of that nature. Now, sister, you know that, right? Now, what is it called when you break God's commandments? A sin. Now, what happens to our people who commit sin? Because if you know these things, sister, and you don't do the will of the Lord, you're willfully in sin, right? We don't want you to be willfully in sin. We want you to be walking uprightly in the spirit of the Lord, right? Bring that out. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6 and verse 23. Bring it out. For the wages of sin is death. What happens if we break the commandments? For the wages of sin is death. So, sister, you know you're supposed to wear a dress. You know you're supposed to keep the Sabbath. And when you break it, it's a sin. What happens to our people who break the commandments? What's gonna happen, sister? We we kind of we kind of be uh, uh, blunt up here about it. If you break the Lord's commandments, you're gonna die. We don't want you to die. We want you to come to life. We right. want you to get everlasting life. Right. right. Everlasting life isn't promised for everybody. It's right. only promise for you, sister. Right. For you, brother. For you, sister. For you, brother. Right. But it's only if we keep God's commandments. Bring that out. Amos chapter 9 and verse 11. Bring it out. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of Amos 9 and verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die. So all the sinners of the children of Israel is going to die, sister. So you got to get a dress and you got to keep the Sabbath. Now, I know you said you got to leave. Now, if whatever you're going to do is more important than the words of the Lord, by all means, enjoy your day. But me personally, I want to find out how to serve my God. That's These right. brothers want to find out how to serve their That's God. That's right. right. That's the mind frame of a true Israelite. All right. So the call is yours, sisters. Okay, all praises. Well, take all a praise. fly, sister. Take a fly. Let's get this sister a fly. Right? Well, sister, with you being an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, I want you to understand that keeping the commandments is key. There's no other way to life, right? And with that, we say Shalom. Have a good day. Shalom, Keep the commandments. Read on more and look at the YouTube channel. All praises. All right. Shalom. 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 Man. Come on. People had an attention span long enough to hear. How y'all sisters doing? Y'all got a minute for the words of the Lord? No, baby. Okay. Let's go to, uh, what about y'all sisters? I know y'all got a minute for the words of the Lord. Just One two minute. minutes. We had a word today. One minute. A word. Let's go to Hosea. Chapter 13. The book of Hosea. I can't lie. I cannot wait until Baltimore is destroyed. That's right. right. Oh, wait right. until our people uh, don't have to ask, do I know the Lord? Right. Give me Hebrews 8 minutes. Oh. Give me that first. For that new 13. 13. 13. Hosea chapter 13 and verse 3. Bring it out. Therefore, they shall be as the morning cloud, and as the early dew that passeth passeth away, as the chaff that is driven with the whirlwind. And that's what's happening to our people, man. We get cast away, thrown away, tossed to and fro. I can't wait for the day when we look at our neighbor and understand that today is the day of atonement. Right. And we gotta do what we gotta do. Right. We don't have to make calendars. We don't have to ask brothers, hey, what day does the uh the new moon fall on? We're gonna know that right we're gonna know that like our name, man. Right. That's the problem, man. Nobody's desiring our people to be righteous. Shalom, on, King. Nobody's desiring our people to want to come out of this lower state. Brother, I know you got two minutes. I know you got two at least one. Oh, right, you're an Israelite, brother. God's chosen people. Keep going, King. Come. <clears throat> With the whirlwind out of the floor. Is this interracial week or interracial month or something? What the hell is going on, man? It's nothing but homosexuality and interracial couples, man. Right. How, we can't make this up, man. 
Damn. The worst thing that happened to our people was integration. Right, right, right. right. Keep reading, King. Come on, brother. Come, come. Two minutes, brother. Two minutes. And as the smoke out of the chimney, right? Yet I am the Lord thy God from the land of Egypt, and thou shalt know no God but me, right? Even though the Lord has put these plagues and curses upon us, we're not going to know no other God. The Lord was so merciful, He didn't withdraw Himself completely. He still let. Right? Bring that up, King. Okay? It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 8 and verse 8. For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord. And that's what every Israelite man, woman, and child is waiting for. We're waiting to be in that new covenant. We're waiting to be all righteous. We're waiting to have a heart of flesh and not stone. Where we buck up, where we rebel, where we hate, where we have anger, where we have sorrow. We're sick of these emotions, man. I want to be happy 24 7. Right. I want right. to be at Murphy 24 uh, 7. Right. I want to drink wine with our servants bringing us more wine. Right. I don't want to look at Billy Bob in my face anymore. Right. 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 I don't want to see these things, man. Keep going. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. So that new covenant is coming. A covenant is a contract, it's a promise. That's right. right, that new covenant is coming. It's coming, man. We in the transitioning period right. to get into the new covenant, man. Let's see the stipulations when we're in the new covenant. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt because they continued not in my covenant and regarded them not. These are the stipulations. The we're not going to be in that. Brother Fig, what's going on, man? Come on, give Come us on, two brother, minutes. Fig. Come on, Fig. Two minutes, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. brother Don't walk off. One minute. Brother Fig. Come on, brother, Fig. Come on, Fig. Fig well. <laughs> Fig! <laughs> keep, keep reading. <laughs> but this is the covenant that I will make with that, with the house of Israel. Right. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my laws into their mind. So the Lord is going to put his laws into our mind, right? Once the laws are in our mind, there's no such thing as going off. There's no such thing as bucking up against the Lord. We're going to be strictly programmed to do the will of the Father. That's right. We're going to be strictly programmed to do all the things the Lord commanded us to do. Right. Right? And write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. And that's what we're desiring. We're desiring to be the Lord's people over again. What's going on, family? Y'all got two minutes for the words of the Lord? Brother with the afro, you got two minutes for the words of the Lord? Hey, give me, uh, did we read Proverbs 13 and 21? Let's read that, man. Proverbs 13 and 21. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 13 and verse 21. Read it out. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. Evil pursue of sinners, right. but to the righteous, good shall be repaid. Read that one more time. Evil, pur evil pursue of sinners, but to the righteous, good shall be paid. So repaid. evil is pursuing the sinners of our people, man. Everybody who's walking to and fro, enjoying a beautiful Saturday, they're gonna be repaid evil, man. Evil for evil, man. The Lord didn't forget eye for eye, two for two. You spitting in the face of the Lord when you're doing your own pleasures. Right. You spitting in the face of the Lord when you're not keeping the Sabbath day. That's right. You spitting in the face of the Lord when you hating your brother. Right. Right. Let us be white men with suits. I guarantee you everybody would stop. Right. Right. They put chairs up. They'll be uh, attentive. They'll be taking notes on their phone. Right. But say it again. Giving donations, man. The Lord is going to repay them. Come on up, brother. No, no, you saw good. Come up here, brother. Brother got caught in the, in the whirlwind. You didn't even realize it. Oh, uh, yeah. What's up, brother? How you feeling, man? Come up here and check out these posters. Yeah, you too, brother. What's your name? My name's Dell. Dell? Yes, sir. What's your name, brother? Chris. Chris. 
So, Dale and Chris, man, we out here to tell our people who we are according to the Bible. Yes, sir. If I was to ask y'all your nationality, what would y'all tell me? What, like, my No, your nationality. What nation of people you come from? Oh, African-American. African-American. What about you, Chris? Hispanic. Hispanic. From where? Honduras. Honduras. Now, this brother has a holy Bible. If we were to give you one, Dale, and you one, Chris, would you see Honduras in the Bible? No. Would you see African-American in the Bible? Now, who are we if we can't find who we are today? What's our nationality? African. Now, are you going to find that in the Bible? No, you're not. Well, you going to find American blacks in the Bible? Absolutely not. You're not going to find none of them. You're not going to find none of these. Right? So who are we then? What's our nationality? You caught me on that one. I'm not gonna lie. Christian. Christian is a religion. I don't fucking know. No, no, no. That's all good. That's all right, brother. It's okay not to know right now. Because that's our job. That's why we out here. Right. To teach our brothers who y'all are. Right. Jeremiah 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself. So y'all two brothers. Y'all two kings. Y'all don't even know that y'all kings. Y'all feel it in y'all spirit. Y'all feel like y'all royalty, man. Right? Even y'all. So discontinue from thy inheritance that I gave thee. So the Lord said his chosen people will discontinue from their heritage that he gave us. So we're going to tell y'all brothers, before we ask all the questions and have y'all like, damn, I don't know. Y'all are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Now, brother, you will be an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. And brother, you will be an Israelite from the tribe of Zebulon. That's right. Right? Y'all God's chosen people. Right. right. You will be a Jew. Right. Right? You would be from the tribe of Zebulon. Right. Now, your right. question is supposed to be, well, how the hell do I know that? Right. How do I know that? How do I know that? That's a perfect question. Yeah, we're going to show you in the Bible. Let's go to Deuteronomy 28 and 15. This is the book right? of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 15. Now, this is the same Bible y'all got in your house sitting on the table collecting dust. My mother do got the same Bible. The same Bible. Yes, sir. Right? And you, too, got the same Bible sitting there at Grandma's house, too. Just sitting there collecting dust, right? Sure every, everybody got the, everybody same, got Bible. the same Bible, right? Right. But nobody reads this, right? right? Y'all know who Moses is, right? Yes, sir. What did Moses tell Pharaoh? Let my what? Oh, oh, let my people what? Let my people go. Don't let me go. Oh, there you go. It's let my people go. Right. I'm confused. Right. A lot of confused. A little Moses. No, it's all good. With Moses and Noah. Yeah, yeah. A lot yeah, of people I'm get confused. Moses and Noah confused. So Noah went to Pharaoh and said, "Let my people go." If you go into somebody saying, let my people go, are they free? What are they? Still captured. They still captured. What's the word we looking for? Start with an S. Slaves. Slaves. There we go. So Slaves. this is the Israelites coming out of slavery, right? And this is Moses speaking to them, right? Let's see what Moses said. So the book of run, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Lord said, if you don't hearken, meaning to listen, to observe, to do all his commandments right. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the Lord said for being stiff-necked and rebellious, curses were going to fall upon his chosen people. Now, are curses a good thing or a bad thing? Bad, bad. It's a bad thing. It's an awful thing. Right. Now, let's see some of the curses that fell upon God's chosen people. And let's see who fits these curses. Y'all remember that game, Guess Who? Yes. Back sir. in the day, does he have a mustache? Does he have glasses? Yeah. This is Guess Who? Would it be the so-called white man, the Chinese man, the Arab man, or us? Let's see who fit these curses. Verse 16, cursed shall thy be in the city. So the Lord said his chosen people for being stiff-necked, hard-headed, and rebellious are going to be cursed in the city. Now, you from Baltimore? Yes, sir. You live in Baltimore? No, I ain't from Baltimore. Okay, where you from? I'm from. I'm from Maryland, like 10 minutes away from D.C. Okay, what part? Uh, you know what Piney Branch? Piney Branch? Yeah. Okay, over there. Now, if you go to any city, who's living cursed in the city? Who? How we living in Baltimore City? Terrible. How, what you say? Huh? What about the? Uh, what about our, our Hispanic brothers in Baltimore City? Are we blessed or are we cursed? What you say? As a, as a whole. We cursed, right? Yeah, we cursed. What about Honduras? Cursed. We cursed over there. What about every city? Who's in the ghettos and the slums? Our people, yeah, right? Hispanics and, black. Hispanics and blacks. But if you go down here in the city, who owns the city? The so-called white man. Now, it says, cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed 
shall there be in the field. And when were we cursed in the field? During slavery. Right. What about when the conquistadors came over? What did they do? They caused us to work in their plantations. Right. Right? Put their names on us, Gonzalez, Gomez. Put their names on us. Williams, Jackson, right? Yes, the same boats. Let's go to verse 54. Verse 54. We're gonna give y'all two more curses. So y'all can be like, man, without a doubt, I know I'm an Israelite. Right? So so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. So the brotherly love we used to have. Like how we talking right now, right? What the Lord gonna do? His eye shall be evil towards his brother. So remember, these are curses. What does it sound like your eye being evil towards your brother? My eye being evil towards my brother? What, having, I would say having a little bit of hatred. Nah, nah, nah. Having a lot of hatred, right? Right? Okay, yeah, Stabbing, yeah. killing, shooting, selling drugs to your brother? Right. Don't that go on amongst us? Yes, sir. Don't yeah, that go lot. on amongst us? A lot. A lot. Right? All the time. All the time. You got black versus brown, brown versus black, black versus black, brown versus brown. Yeah. Right? Sure. Does the so-called white man have gangs? No. Uh, do you see shootouts happening in Howard County no, between sir. two white gangs? Oh, oh, Gettysburg. Or, uh, in, in where? Gettysburg. Gettysburg? Hell no. Uh, right? Gettysburg. Right? Gettysburg. Oh, Gatesburg. No, yeah, that's not Gatesburg, man. Right? Bethesda. Bethesda, no, man. Oh, well, no, I did. There, there they was one shoot out there in Howard nah, County. But those, those are all people right. shooting yeah. each other out, though. That was, yeah, that was. Right? Yes, so our eyes evil towards our, our brother. Do you see Chinese on Chinese shootouts? Absolutely not. What else? Thank you, man. It's a lot. So that the man that is tender among you is very delicate. His eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Right. And towards the wife of his bosom. Uh huh and towards the remnant of his children. So he'll have children. Which he shall leave. Who's known for leaving their children? Fathers. What Father. type of fathers? A black father. Man. Black and Hispanic man. fathers, man. Right? They'd be like, I'm going to get cigarettes and milk and never show up. Right. Or they'll say, I'm going somewhere else and they never show back up. But more precisely, that's more stereotypical. But it's the truth. Did yeah. you grow up with your father in the house? I mean, some, some, I mean, in between that, he was there here and there sometimes. Now, do you think his father was there here and there? Or do you think he was always there? Definitely always there. Always, always there. Right. Always there, brother. Always now, who's fitting these curses? Is it them or is it us? Right. Now, how did we get to this land called America? Well, we had to cross the border and shit. Okay. Well, we had, we to, had to escape slavery, of course, to get to How did we get brought here? But how did we get here? Yeah. Slave ships, right? Yeah. Didn't uh, Christopher Columbus come over here and bring our people to Spain? Yeah. Well, let's read out the Bible. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Right. No. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Remember, what, what were we doing in Egypt? We were what? Slaves. So if the Lord says he's going to bring his people back in, the, go ahead and bring that up. It's the book of Judah, chapter 5, verse 11. Right. Therefore the king of Egypt rose up against them and dealt subtly with them and brought them low with labor and brick and made them slaves. And what? And they made, made them, them slaves. slaves. So when you read Egypt in the Bible, it's synonymous with slavery. That's right. Right? So the brothers are going to read it as it is, and we're going to uh, substitute Egypt for what? Slavery. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into what again? What's Egypt? Slavery, slavery again with what? With ships. How did we go into slavery? With ships. Just like that. The so-called white man came and took our people and brought us into slavery on ships, right? By the way whereof I spake unto thee. The way, is, the, way the Bible said it was going to happen, it happened that way, didn't it? Yes, right? Thou shalt see it no more again. We haven't seen our homeland since. We don't know our homeland. We don't know our homeland. Honduras isn't our homeland, right? And then, once we got off those slave ships, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Weren't we sold to our enemies? Who were we sold to? White man. And what did the Lord call them? Your enemies. Our enemies, right? For what? For bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. That's why we're still in this captivity to this day. Now, are we black and Hispanic people, or are we God's chosen people, the Israelites? Right. We're the Israelites, right? Right. All praises to the Most High. Now, all these curses happen to our people for breaking the commandments. Now, should we continue to break the commandments, or should we start keeping the commandments? We should start keeping them, right? Now, can y'all name three commandments off the top of your head? Before that, how old are y'all brothers? 17. 17. 
right? 17 years old, you just finding out who you truly are. Right. That would make me mad, man. Right. Like all these years, I've been lied to. I've been calling myself Hispanic. I've been calling myself African American. That'll piss me off. It pissed me off when I find when I found out who I was, man. So now we got to go even harder to find out how to serve our God, so all this doesn't happen to us again. So can y'all name three commandments? Three commandments. What, like, like, like Matthews? No, those are books in the Bible. Commandments. I'm gonna keep it so real with you. I can't. I can't. That's all right, brother. I we, wouldn't even lie to you. I it's can't. all good. We here to help you yeah. find out how to serve the Lord. Let's bring out some commandments for the brother. Let's go to Leviticus, chapter 11. It's the book of Leviticus, <laughs> chapter 11, and verse 7. And the swine. And the what? And the, the swine. swine. Y'all brothers know what swine is? Swan is a pig, right? Swan is pig. Though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed. So it got the characteristics of being clean, right? Like a sheep or a cow. Yeah, he cheweth not to cut. He is unclean to you. So he doesn't digest his food properly. He just sits in there, right? They say you are what you eat. So if you eat the pig, you are what that eats. That's right. And pigs eat anything, don't they? Yeah. Right? So let's see what the Lord said about the pig. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. And their carcass shall you not touch, they are unclean to you. So as Israelite men, y'all can't eat pork. I don't eat it anyway, so. You don't eat pepperoni? What about bacon? I hate pizza What about bacon? Bacon? Yeah, I eat bacon hand. Bacon? Bacon is pork. too salty. I'm tabbing. What about ham? What about ham? Hell yeah, I love me some ham. That's pork, brother. I know, I'm already hit, but like, it's like, it's certain, it's certain type of. It's certain type of pork you eat. Yeah, like, I don't like bacon. I don't like that. I don't like pepperonis at all. I eat uh, well, like ham. I can eat ham. The Lord That's said you gotta hate pork. eating pork. Right. 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 I hate pork. You gotta hate pork. I hate pork. Look, because we ate pork, all this happened to us. We got sent on slave ships right. to a land we don't know about yeah. because we ate pork. Right. right. Now yeah, African Americans eat pork. Jesus put the demons in, inside the pork. That's exactly right. what we did. Right. Right. That's exactly right. what we did. Right. 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 Now, why would you want to eat something? What Jesus uh, cast demons into. Right. right. Yeah. So African Americans and Hispanics eat pork. Yeah. But the Israelites right. refrain pork. from pork. Right. right. So from this day forward, brothers, y'all can't eat no pork. Hey. No. Don't, don't eat no like ham, pork. brother. My father doesn't even like pork eating. All praise. You shouldn't like it. I don't like it. All no, praises. No, no, no. So from this day forward, y'all can't stay, you go. Yeah. What else? What else they can you eat? Chicken. Chicken. Yeah. What about beef? Beef. We eat beef, like man. Beef we can eat all those things but pork. But it's more that we can't eat, right? Yo, my, yo, mind if I see my, my girlfriend a picture of this, man? Do your thing, brother. You just got to keep listening. Yes, sir. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 9. Right? These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. So now we transition from the land to what, brother? To the water. To the water, right? Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and the rivers, them shall you eat. So what can we eat that come out the water? Fish. Fish, Fish right? But it's more to it. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers of all that move in the waters and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. So what can't we eat that come out the waters? Uh, fish, crabs. No, no, we can eat fish. Seahorses. Seahorses. We can't starfish. eat crabs. Starfish. What else? Uh, what else? What about shrimp? Shrimp. We can, we can eat shrimp. shrimp. We can eat shrimp? Yeah. But the Lord said the only things that come out the water have to have fins and scales. So can we eat shrimp? Uh, we can't eat shrimp. Right. No crabs. No crabs. Right. No lobsters. Crabs got shells. No they got shells. Lobsters got shells. Yeah, lobsters got oysters shrimp got, got shells. shells. Oysters got shells. We can't eat oh, none of that. Right. Well, I don't eat none of that. I don't eat seafood anyway. That's your right. Right. Now the brother like Chris anyway. right here, he was kind of mad right. about that. He said, yeah. Yeah. Like, I wish I was wild. Like, like, I know like I'm black. Yeah, I like seafood. You like, like seafood, right? This brother used to like seafood. Right. 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 They called this brother. The seafood king. Yeah. Yeah. But he found out he was an Israelite. Right. Yeah. And he don't want to deal with things right. that God told us not to eat. Right. right. That's right. Yeah. So the Lord said you can't eat crabs, brother. You gonna keep eating crabs? Nah. What about shrimp? No more shrimp. The no brother back here, he got a whole shrimp sandwich. He got in his bag. You want it? <laughs> oh boy. A shrimp po boy, you sure? <laughs> what about a ham sandwich? Ham sandwich. They got the cocktail sauce, brother. You want a ham sandwich? You want the ham sandwich? The Lord said I can't eat it, so I can't eat it. That's right, that's right. That's right, brother. And what's your nationality? Nationality. Are you
are you an African American? I'm an Israelite. That's, That's right. right. Yeah. What about you? Same thing. Say what's the same thing? What is it? Israelite. There you go, That's bro. Right. Now, that's just two commandments. There's way more commandments, right? This is important right here. This is life and this is death, right? You tired of seeing your friends on RIP? I was tired of seeing, right? It's, it's sad to see, man. Right? Now let's find out how we don't have to deal with that no more. It's the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 8, right? Remember the Sabbath day. Do what? Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So we have to remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Now, what day is the Sabbath day? Sabbath day, what does that mean? Well, let's find out. Six Halloween. days shall yeah, thou labor and do all thy work. So you got six days throughout the week to do all your work. So Sunday. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So the seventh day is the Sabbath for the Lord. What day is that? Sunday. Sunday. You gotta go to church. No, Sunday is not the Sabbath day. Well, how do you say uh, Saturday in Spanish? Sabado. So what day is the Sabbath day? Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. So what day is the Lord's day? Saturday. Saturday. Right. So you got six days. So Sunday is the first day of the week. Right. Right? Look at your calendar. Look at your phone. Look at your calendar. Tell me what's the first day. Oh, shit. Sunday is the first day Sunday of the week. Is that's, the when, first that's, day. When the week that's when the, the weekday starts. The weekday ah, starts right. on Sunday. Okay. Right. You see it? Yeah. Yeah. So Saturday is the Sabbath. Let's see what we can't do on the Sabbath. The seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. So you can't do no work on the Sabbath day. Right? About work, what you mean in life? Are y'all in school? No. You work? You have a job? All praises. Well, when you get that job, when you get it, Lord willing, you can't work today. I'm gonna take a video of this. Yeah, go ahead, brother. So no working on the Sabbath day, right? No homework, no working, no doing your own pleasure on the Sabbath. No buying and selling, no cooking. The Sabbath is a day of rest. What does it mean to rest? Lay down, chill, chill. chill. I mean, get in the words of the Lord. Right. Not do anything but meditate on the words of the Lord. And congregate with brothers, right? right? right. These brothers come out on the Sabbath. All right. these brothers right. come out on the right. Sabbath. Right. 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 Yeah, y'all right. outside every day. Why not come out here to the harbor and get built up in the spirit? Right. Right? right? So what? The, what's the three commandments that we went over so far? Uh, what, Sabbath, the one that you just said, Sabbath. The Sabbath, what's the Sabbath? The Sabbath? Uh, we only rest on okay. Saturday, right? When does it start? Sunday. Saturday. Saturday, right? It starts Saturday, but what day? Does it start at 12 a.m.? I'm assuming any time that... Nah, 12 a.m. 12 a.m.? Let's see 12. when it starts. Let's go to Genesis. This chapter is the book four. of Genesis. Chapter 1 and verse 5. Bring it out! And God called the light day uh -huh. and the darkness. He called night. Right, so you got night yes. and you got day. And the evening... And the what? And, and the, the evening... Yes. And the morning... Yes. We're the first day. So when the sun goes down, that's the end of a day, beginning until another day, right? So Friday night sundown to Saturday night sundown is the Sabbath. Friday night sundown to Saturday night sundown. Right, because in the ancient world, they didn't have no digital clocks. It's 12 o'clock, it's a new day. So when does the Sabbath start? During the nighttime. What night time? Well, no. When the sun goes down. What day? So when the sun goes down, it's sun is first day. No, no, no. So look, the seventh day of the week is Saturday. When the sun goes down Friday it's night, Sunday. it starts into your Sabbath day. So from Friday night sundown to Saturday night sundown is your Sabbath. And when Saturday night goes down, that's the start of a new week. So Friday night sundown to Saturday night sundown. Say it with me, brothers. Friday, Friday night, night sundown, sundown to Saturday Friday night sundown. One more time. Friday, Friday night, night sundown to Saturday night sundown. Friday night sundown. To Saturday night sundown. Friday so what day does the Sabbath start on? Friday night sundown, Saturday night sundown. There you go, brother. Right. So it would be the Sabbath right now. So no buying, no selling, no cooking. No doing whatever you want to do. I wish I would have came out here earlier. I would have never, I would have never went to go guard that Chipotle, you know? But that's okay. Mm -hmm. Now you have to understand that it's something you have to do. Give me Acts chapter 1, verse 15. Right? Because we all committed sin. We all fell short. 
We used to be wild back in the day. Right. We used to do some wild stuff, man. Right? You don't want to know this man. He was the seafood king and he was, he was, man, this dude right here. Terrible. Right. We, used, we all have a past, but it's something that we have to do. Yeah, that's right. right. Bring that out. Yeah. Acts chapter 3 and verse 19. Repent ye therefore. Do what? Repent, Repent ye therefore. therefore. One more time. Repent, Repent ye therefore. therefore. What we got to do? Repeat that. Repent ye therefore. What we got to do? Repent. Repent. And do what? And be converted. And you got to be converted. Yeah. What are you being converted to? Seven days. Not no. Back to your true nationality. Right. Right. Following the law, statutes, and commandments right. of the Lord. You're repentant from following the ways of this world and coming back to serve the Lord. Tell the brother Dale what we got to do. We got to repent. You start with an R. Repent. 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 Right. Now, how do you repent? I've heard that word before. We gotta bring it down to you, bro. We got you, brother. We gotta bring it down to you. Go to Proverbs 20 and 13. Proverbs 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 we're not going to prosper. The Lord see everything. All right. But you can't hide from the Lord. But whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy. So you have to confess your sins unto the Lord and forsake. Y'all know what forsake means? Forsake. Uh, yeah. It means don't do it no more. So you have to confess and apologize for your sins and don't do them no more. Like, Lord, forgive me for eating pork. You don't do it no more. Right? Let's get Leviticus 19 verse 27. Right? That's one. We got two more for y'all brothers, man. Because what's your nationality? Israelite. Israelite. From what tribe? What tribe you from, brother? Judah. Judah. What about you, brother? Zebulon. 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 Ah. Ah. Bring it out. This is the book of Leviticus. Chapter 19 and verse 27. Bring it out. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. So you can't you can't shave your head. You got you shaved your head under that, brother? You got a bad haircut. Hold oh, on. It's all good, brother. Uh, so y'all brother, y'all brothers, <laughs> y'all brothers can't shave your head. Now some of us, you know, we're well, a little bit like older than y'all. Like just bald it, like Mike Tyson. Oh, so right. Michael Jordan. Now you know I'm I'm not as young as y'all brothers. I kind of lost my head, kind of fell out one right. day. Right. Right. So we can't shave our head. Right. This dude right here is a fool. Y'all see him? Get that on camera, all right? That is crazy. So you can't shave your heads, what else? Neither shall thy bar the corner of thy beard. So once y'all brothers start getting beards, you know, your beard start to grow in, you can't shave it. You gotta let it grow. Whatever you can grow, let it grow. You look like you cut yours down, don't you? He's got baby face, that's why. Nah, but they cut my sideburns when I got my hair cut. Yeah, let your hair grow, man. Right, right. They, Not they, I told my barber, don't cut this. Tell him, tell him, I look. Fell asleep, I ain't don't cut, lie. don't cut my hair, you man. Let my, my beard grow. Right? You see the brothers up here have mighty beards. That's man. right. Put the brother beard growing in, right, man. You see that? Yeah. Hello, something. Yeah, it's growing so in, man. Hello, something. Right? We used to make a joke. Now the brothers like, you can't joke no more. I got the right. hair growing in. Right. And once y'all brothers start growing, uh, getting older, Lord willing, and y'all beards come in, you can't shave them. Right? That's Not because we said so, but because the, Lord, the Lord said so. And once you break the Lord's commandments, it's a what? It's a sin. It's a sin. Right? You must, what's the word, bro? Repent. Repent. There you go. All praise. And that was more to it. Verse 28. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead. So you can't cut yourself because you lost your homeboy or, or your great great aunt. I don't think you never got that bad before. You never got, what about you? You ever cut yourself? That's just working. Okay, all praises. And what else? Nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. What does it mean to print no marks? Tattoos. No tattoos. Mm. Now you look at I know you looked at my arms. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah, we all had that tattoos. That was before that was before. That was before every you found the Lord, right? And, right. and you had to what? Repent. And be converted, right? Right. 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 So how do you repent? You do what? Pray. pray. You pray? Is that it? Ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. forgiveness and what else? It's a, it's a main one. Start, yeah. start with a forsake. What does it mean to forsake? 
you won't do it again. You won't do it no more. Right. So a lot of us brothers up here have tattoos. We repented, meaning we asked for forgiveness and we didn't get no more tattoos. These tattoos over 15 years old, right? I haven't got none since. I ain't got I don't got one. Well, you got to keep it that way. Right? You plan on, well, well, you know what, Chris? Not anymore. Not anymore, brother. Right! 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 No more, man. Now I see you hitting that vape. Mm. Right? Wake him up. All right. Let's go to X. Damn. Chapter 3. Might as well get in our ass about that smoking weed, too. Oh, yeah. You know we're going to. Right there, too. You know we're going to do that. It's the book of Acts, chapter 18. Three. And verse 3. Three. It's the book of Acts, chapter 3, and verse 18. Bring it out. But those things which the Most High before had shewed by the mouth of all his prophets, that Christ should suffer, he hath so fulfilled. Right. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. So we reading this over again because we're going to show you that smoking is a sin. Right? Smoking is not, it's, it's, it's not I want to get high and have a good time. Right? right? Bring it up. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Bring it up. Know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High? So y'all are the temple of the Lord. Right? You know, the temple is the temple is a building. Right? And that the spirit of the most high dwelleth in you. So the Lord is dwelling in you. Now let me ask you for the uh for the brother finish this. If you went home and somebody came in your house and kicked the door in, threw smoke bombs, set stuff on fire, would you want to live there? Oh no. Nah. Absolutely not. Well, you're the temple of the Lord. How do you think the Lord feels if you kicking in his his vessel, getting tattoos, right? Smoking. How you think you think he gonna want to dwell in that? Absolutely not. Let's see. <clears throat> if any man defile the temple of the Most High, if any man defile the temple of the Lord, how you defile the temple of the Lord? By disobeying. By disobeying, eating pork, right. excessively drinking, smoking, right. having sex with all these different women, right? Well, I told you, I told you, keep one girl, sure. <laughs> if any man defile the temple of the Most High, him shall God destroy. No, the Lord's gonna laugh with him. Him, him shall God destroy. destroy. What happens if y'all keep smoking? The Lord, well. Read it one more time. I want them to say it verbatim. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Him shall what? Him, him shall God destroy. destroy. One more time him for infamous. Him, him shall God destroy. destroy. Y'all continue to smoke. What's gonna happen? Y'all gonna destroy it. Yeah. Let me see that vape, brother. <laughs> Slowly by our lungs. Wait, let me see. Throw that vape in the harbor, brother. Oh. Throw it in the harbor, oh, brother. Oh, oh, oh. Come on, brother. Throw it in the harbor. Throw that vape oh, in the yeah, harbor, yeah. brother. You ain't gonna be the first one. Man. Oh, yo, he Throw that vape in that. the harbor, brother. $25, man. What? $26. All you right, got to smoke it again, and the Lord said he gonna destroy you? Yo, chill. Right, for smoking? <laughs> chill, bro. Throw it in the harbor, brother. I can't do that. You oh, can't chill. $25 over the Lord? I ain't gonna Damn. lie. I just bought this joint. Damn. Well, the Lord is showing you that it's a sin to do that thing. If now, what's going to happen if, if the you... Lord can drop down $25 back, I'll throw it in the water right now. Oh, but God God forgive me for even saying that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but what, oh, what, what makes you think that the Lord won't put $50 right down on your way home? What if you walked home? from here after Jeez. you threw that in and you found $150? See? But you ain't going to get nothing now. That'd be crazy. Toss that joint in the hood. If you can't toss it, give it to the elder. The elder used to play quarterback in here. It ain't mine though. It's my brother's. Well, tell your brother you lost it. Hey, tell him man. you lost it in the harbor. We, bro, you gonna help me? I want to start fighting. Yeah, I got you. Tell him come up here so we can tell him you're Israelite. Right. right. Tell him in the harbor, brother. Right, do, do you that. love the Lord? <laughs> yeah, I believe in the Lord. I love no, the I Lord. No, I said, do you love the Lord? I love the Lord. Yeah. What about you, Dad? You love the Lord? I love him. Yeah. How do you know that? Know How do you show that you love the Lord? Actually, though, wait. I, I, I graduated school. I did it for my mother. You know? No, no. I said, how do you show that you love the Lord? Follow His rules. By doing what? Following that baby in the water. Following His commandments. That's right, his brother. Commandments. Yeah, my mom right. will be mad. My mom Your mom will be mad. Nah, I so said my mom will be happy. My bad. That yeah, I found she'll be happy if you threw that, that out. I found job. Oh, all crazy. Yeah, she like yeah. Now we dealing with that vape, brother. That. We dealing with that vape. Now you gonna truly show if you love the Lord, or did all this just go out the window? That's the truth test right now. All right. What you gonna do, Chris? The ball is in your hand. Give it to no. Dell. He'll throw it. Can't do that. You can't do it. Bring it up. Okay? First Peter chapter five verse eight. Be sober. 
Be what? Be, be sober. sober. Brother, you smoking them things not sober. That stuff is killing you. Right. right. You sucking on a battery. Right. 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 That's what a vape is. You yeah, sucking yeah. on a battery. Right. Breathing battery acid in your lungs. Be right. sober. Be vigilant. That means being watchful, brother. We being watchful for you. Telling you that stuff is killing you. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Seeking that if he can devour you, he will, man. That's Satan telling you not to throw it. Right. $25 right. ain't nothing, man. That's right. You can find $25 anywhere, brother. It's not that, though. It's not mine. If it was mine, you know, I would throw that. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. This the facts on a vape, right? It said breathing in the harmful chemicals. The what? The, the harmful, harmful chemicals, chemicals from vaping products can cause irreversible, cannot be cured, lung damage, lung disease, and some other cases, death. Mm. Some other cases, death. Now the Lord is to bring that out too. God, what is popcorn lung? What is what? What Pop is popcorn, popcorn lung? lung? You ever heard of popcorn lung? Well, you about to find out today, brother. Popcorn lung, bronchiolitis, obliter obliterating. That means your, your lungs are being destroyed completely. Right. Obliterated. God. It's an uncommon type of lung disease, but it is not cancer. It is caused by a buildup of scar tissue in the lungs. From which, vapor. Which blocks the flow of air. Meaning you can't breathe. God. A possible link has been suggested between the disease and a chemical called diacylite. Diacylite. That's one of the main chemicals in your vape. There's more on that? Gone. They had breathed in diacylite as it was used as a flavoring in the popcorn. It was not related. Well, Salaki. That's it on that. That's it on that. That's it. So it's used in flavoring when you smoke those vapes. Now, you said you love the Lord, you heard the commandments. Well, he said, don't defile the temple. For well, the Lord said, you love him, keep his commandments. The ball's in your court, brother. We're not going to force your hand. We can just let you know that the Lord is not pleased. And sin life at the door. You good? You're not going to do it? All right, we'll throw it in the trash can then. All right, give me uh, Leviticus 19, verse 17. Right, you, I know you love your brother. Yeah. You love your brother. Let's see how the Lord says you should treat your it's brother. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. See, this Yo. is a commandment right here. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. If you give that to your brother, you hate him. We just read about the harmful effects, the popcorn lung, the disease that comes with it. You can't say you love your brother if you're giving him that vape bag. Right? And Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So you got to rebuke your brother with that vape. You got to tell him I threw it away. I'll give you the money back. And not suffer sin upon him. So what you going to do, Chris? Can't do that. Can't do it? Nah. All right, that saved the Lord, man. Let's let's give these brothers the flyers. Who got flyers on? Right now, bro. Up top. Right behind you. Let me get one of the flyers, bro. Right here, y'all brothers go, man. Y'all brothers are the Israelites according to the Bible, right? Yes, sir. Hey, little brother. And what's your nationality again? Israelites. 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 Work on trying to get rid of that vape, yeah, that I'm vape really. spirit. I, I keep, I'll keep, do it. I keep my chat. I don't even smoke no vape. All right, well, no smoking weed either. Right. No it's pork, sucks. no crab, shrimp, or lobster. Yeah, sucks, All right, y'all brothers be safe out here. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, come yeah, around this can, side, brother. Yeah, you come around this side. Come around, my bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all good. Your brother be safe, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. No, no, it's all good, man. Yeah, have a blessed day. You, you too. too Lord willing, man, the most high break down these strongholds. Let me get second edge 16 and start at verse 74, man. What's up, family? You got two minutes for the words of the Lord? Two minutes. And you know what's crazy? Jake hear you talking to him, and they look out like it's something on the harbor, right, man. Right. Ain't never been nothing on that harbor, right, man. Right. Can't stand dealing with Jake. Bring that out, kid. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, 
chapter 16 and verse 74. Hear, hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. The days of trouble are at hand. We're knocking at the door of Jacob's trouble, man. You see that the U.S. is about to default on their uh, debt. Right? All hell about to break loose. They said June 4th, the stock market will fall by 50% if they don't do something. 17 trillion in debt. And they sitting there complaining about brothers who owe $2,000. Right? They ain't that the pot calling the kettle black. Right? Right? Put! I will deliver you from the same, but ye not be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your God. So you can't be afraid nor doubt, because the Lord is your God in these last days. The Lord is going to deliver you if you're faithful unto Him. The Lord is going to walk hand in hand with you in the day of trouble if you're faithful unto Him. Bring that out in Luke. <clears throat> Luke chapter 18, verse 7. And shall not the Most High avenge His own elect? which cry day and night unto him. The Lord is coming to deliver 12,000 men from each of the 12 tribes and the one third of men, women, and children. If you're not part of the elect, you're not gonna be crying inside, man. Only the elect are crying because of the things that they see going on in the world. Right. right? <laughs> Though he bear long with them. The Lord sees all the atrocities that's going on. Right. He's bearing long with us, right? He knows that we damn feel like we're about to pass out and give up, man. Right. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. The Lord is coming like a thief in the night when you least expect it, right? Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. The Lord is coming to deliver those who have faith, right? Faith is going to sustain you in the last days. And without right. faith, it's impossible to please the Lord. That's right. right. And with that, I say, Quorum Yashallah. Quorum Yashallah.